welcome back to my little gardening show. We just finished mowing the yard and now we are harvesting uh, peppers and tomatoes. One wow, plant. bud. That's one plant? Yep. That one. And there's still a few on there. So that's our banana peppers. Why are they turning red? Well, when they're like super duper ripe, they're going to turn red. I but them. like a yellowish is what we want and we want to, I'd like to pickle them. There's dad in the distance. Here, try one. <laughs> I'll, I'll eat this when we get home. Well, that's a nice looking pepper. Aren't the red ones for seeds? Yeah, we'll save a red one for seeds. I don't know. Look. We've gotten a lot of rain lately. You know, and the problem, we had a problem with the uh, blossom end rot on some of these because we went through a stint where there really wasn't any, about a two, three week stint where it was really dry. And uh, when that happens and they're not getting the water that they're used to, they tend to, to do that. Also a sign that there could have been deficiency for sure. But on the whole, uh, most of them turned out pretty nice. It's a smaller one. It's probably cross-pollinated. Go down here and look at our, uh, see if we can get a nice one here. I think this is our uh, Corno de Toro. It might be Red Marconi. The Red Marconis are perfectly, this might be a Red Marconi. The Corno de Toro has a more of a bent on the end. But if you see them like, like this, go ahead and harvest these, okay? Like black and red? Yeah, kind of brownish red. Are they red. spicy? No, these are sweet, but don't eat that right now. Here's another nice one. So red Marconis. These are smaller this year. They're usually bigger than this. How big can they get? Uh, I get about eight inches. Whoa. At least we've had them that big before. Here's a bell pepper. Which we'll need to wash out. That's um, sun scald and that plant fell over, so the sun baked those. Here, bud. Nice little bell pepper. That's a banana pepper as well. Like it's just coloring, bud. Here. <laughs> Is it hot? <laughs> oh, poor bud. Now these. There we go. These maybe are Mar these are the Marconis. I think those are the Corno de Toro, even though they're not mu not very bent. These Marconis are a lot bigger. Yeah, I was like thinking this was like a super big one, but look, picking it because ooh, what is that? One? Oh, I'm trying to. Yeah. Here. Those are smaller this year too. They I remember we got one that was like. Yeah. So anyway, he's going through, we're gonna pick some sweet peppers. We got another round of, that's a Corno de Toro. We got another round of green beans going. Um, we need to till, till under this lettuce or mow it down, replant. We got our okra. Some more beans here. We planted some uh, spinach. It hasn't sprouted yet. Have you planted peas yet? Um, yeah, we did another row of peas here. We're doing some uh, late season plantings. We we haven't typically done that before, uh, so it'll be interesting to see how things turn out. We did a um, late season planting of potatoes. Let's see if I can take you over and show you those real quick. So we planted uh, I think four rows of potatoes, and these are uh, the seed potatoes from the basement, leftovers from what we had harvested last year. And there you can see we planted them about a foot apart, and they're sprouting. Got a row here as well. Got our radishes. I don't think they're quite ready yet. With all the rain, I knew we were gonna have a bunch of stuff split on us. Uh, and these are ones that are notorious for splitting. Uh, these are the uh, 
I think they're called blueberries and cream from Baker Creek. Very prone to splitting. But they've got really good flavor. We haven't gone through and plant picked the uh, cherries yet, but I imagine there's a bunch of them that are busted. Here's one that's not. Oh, here's some like wasps and bumblebees and stuff. Look a little irritated that I'm around here. So. These are my favorite. My wife doesn't like these as much, but sweet chocolate, I like those. They're a little dirty, but we gotta wash them off. Why don't you put that in the basket? Keep harvesting. This is Chadwick cherry. It's a nice little tomato. And then probably my favorite is the sweet chocolate. And again, we got a bunch of them that busted open on us. Sometimes they'll heal themselves or dry over. But if there's um, moisture, they'll just start rotting. So that's a shame. So I imagine about half the tomatoes on there are not, not worth it, but what is that? Is it? So Tabasco peppers. They're a little late. They haven't turned colors quite yet. So most of them are. And they tend to fall off the stem really easily. Go ahead and eat that, bud. No, Put that on your tongue, bud. You no. Nah. Yeah, I need more hot pepper sauce on my fingers. All right, let's go over. Let's look at the hot peppers real quick. Tabasco juice. Yeah, why don't you wipe that on the ground or something so you don't get that in your eyes or. You can do this one. Why don't you pick these bigger ones that are red? What are they called? I forget. We'll have to look it up when we get home. But these, this is a new variety we tried. They're supposed to be spicy. You don't see that many things. But we got a ton of red Thai chilies. Just a ton. I mean, look at that. So, I don't know. We'll harvest what we can there. And then I need to Try figure to out. This is. I will when we get home. Big... Yeah, that looks kind of neat. Here, put that back. So we're going to harvest those and uh, try to figure out something there. I'll show you the uh, tomatoes we pulled out of the garden. So we picked bud, picked uh, quite a bit of tomatoes, about a bushel and a half, a lot of them sauce. These are the Italian paste. They turned out decent. But these are the San Marzanos. Really easy to pick. This might be a cross between Dester and San Marzano. No, this is the Italian paste Uncle John gave us. What do you think, Dad? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a. But there's dirt on there. <laughs> Go wash that off before you eat any more. Yeah. Quite a harvest. And that's yeah. just beginning, actually, down there. Yeah, there's a lot more on the vines that are that's green. So we'll have to get these home and um, sort them out. Some of them aren't completely ripe. We'll let them sit out for a couple days. But most of them are, so. Well, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, happy gardening. Bye.